Well, hi there, and welcome to Home Wizards. Hey, what are you doing? I, I'm just hanging out, having fun. What Me are you too, doing? Same. That's Eric Stromer, and, hey. and I'm Cindy Dole. And wait. Yeah, that's scratching, isn't it? That's a noise I don't know. I don't know what that noise is. It's driving me crazy. <laughs> well, didn't you say that you have some raccoons, I a have family ra- of raccoons? I have a family of raccoons that so it probably terrorize, sounds like they that. terrorize my poor son, Dusty. Because they just sit there. It's a and family they, of them. And they're on the roof. And I don't know. I don't, I don't want to hurt them. But I don't, because they're I'll, cute. They're nice. But they also you they know make that, the noises. You know, I found out that raccoons can literally roll up your sod into like, I had a friend that installed sod in, really? a, in a really high-end job. And the Put guy, to work, basically. And the guy called and said, why did you not finish putting the sod down? He goes, I did finish. He goes, no, it, it, it's rolled up in little Tootsie Rolls all over the lawn. And, and as it turns out, he, he called the next day saying, I'm so sorry. The, I mean, first he said, are you actually going to ha- tell me that raccoons rolled my sod up? And then sure enough, the next morning, the guy sees raccoons out there like, huh? Getting caught <laughs> as they're rolling really? back sod oh. and getting the grubs out uh-huh. from under the sod. It's well, at least amazing. they can roll it back. They oh, don't I put know, it in right? The, yeah. No, they're so they have such horrible manners. Jeez. But anyway, to that point, raccoons are on my roof, and I got to get rid of them. But that sound makes me crazy. When what is exactly? It's kind of a it's scratching, it's, it's clawing, yeah. and then it's them like you know doing their thing. So by the doing. way, this is presented to you by our friends at ServiceLive.com, who by the way you might want to call to help diagnose these noises. There I don't know why you would. Thirty thousand professionals, handy men and women, remodelers, people who have been background checked and get it done the right time the first time. So ServiceLive.com. But let's talk about strange noises. What about? The claws that could be rodents. It could be rodents. Now, now we know that the rodents, because we've had extensive experience with the one of the world's great rat men in the rat game, <laughs> and, he, and he told us, you know, they 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 are attracted to water pipes because there's moisture. They're attracted to safe, clean, dry areas for them where they can have babies and kind of, you know, prol- you know create more and more and more of them right have rat domination rat domination <laughs> so and they can get into holes the size of a nickel yeah yeah so so really any opening in the perimeter of your house or roof line that you're not going to catch they'll get in and sure enough what do you hear you're going to hear the yeah that's a good one and you know what else? It could be that's their teeth because they have to always be on chewing wires. on something. Yeah, they chew on they wires. They have to. They have to file down their teeth, otherwise they can't live. And yeah. so they, you know, they're always doing that. That wasn't a very good. That's one. pretty that good. Was, Let me hear it one more no, time. No, I'm not. That wasn't right. good. But but yes, it's that it's that clawing sound that could be either their teeth or their that's claws. Right. But what about the clanking sound? Because it has been so darn cold, and when you're turning on your heater, yes. and all of a sudden it sounds like this clanking thing okay what is so that? here well here's what happens what happens is that when you have and this is why when you don't have a code an inspector do plumbing before you close a wall you run into the problem and the potential issue of ultimately in your house having the pipes go whenever you turn the water on uh-huh, they're like and what happens is vibrating. that vibration exactly yeah, yeah. vibration occurs because they're not strapped to the framing of the house. Well, they're nervous too, and I, they get I, nervous, right? Because they know they're going to deliver issues. the water. They got self-esteem <laughs> problems. So what you have to do is you got to you you know secure the the piping to the wall. Otherwise, when you turn them on, like in old buildings, you'll hear this all the time. The rattling. It, it uh-huh. rattles like that because right? it's the metal on the metal, right? Yeah, is that what it and, is. And and it's just the it's the sound of of metal flexing in your wall. What about the moaning and the groaning in the heating system? You know, ooh, yeah, oh, wow. Some say that sounds like a whale, but I think it sounds more like the moaning and groaning in the wall. What do you think? Well, have people write into the website and determine. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. So that, the mo- that is a little bit of whaleish. Yeah. Not yeah. shamu. Let me hear. You, let me hear your dolphin one more time. <laughs> Pretty good. It's like the sea. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you have dolphin sounds in your home, uh, no. but you could have whale sounds. And the no, problem but, but is yeah, that, your that, heater. The, what is it? The, well, it's, get a repair it's, Get a get a service live guy. Get what a do you service mean? live guy or gal out there to to check it out. Oftentimes, that can be the sound of the movement through your ducting. Uh huh. You know, it can be it can be improper ducting that t- too many angles is cre- creating the sound of things kind of flopping around that way. Uh huh. So you may want to see what the run of your ducting is, and if it if in fact you have a straight run, or if it's going around too many corners, you can kind of get that noise sometimes. You know, uh, it can also just be that you need service, or that you don't have a clean filter because you're not getting clear intake air, so that it's straining the machine. 
and it's causing it to work and taxing it and making it work harder and harder than it has to. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. you know, you know, if you're on a treadmill way too long, you start moaning too. It's just too it, much work. Yeah, right. right. What about if you are hearing kind of a, you can you can still hear running water, but like there's no one in the house. You can it just you hear the sound. Of, oh, of, that, like there's, well, is it water like well, under see, the floor? Now, or? see, that can be, and I have this in my house all the time. It can be uh, water that's being utilized by your your, your water uh, irrigation heater? system. Oh, by irrigation system. So you'll hear the, uh-huh, uh-huh. you know, even when you're just sort of walking around the and house that's okay. and nothing's on. Yeah, it, it just means, well, it can mean that either your irrigation system is going and you're hearing it happen or someone in another part of the house is using water that you didn't know they were using. If you hear rushing and there's absolutely no explanation for it, there could be a, a water leak somewhere and it's leaking underground and no one's mm. detecting it. So pay attention, but for the most part, it'll probably be that it's being occupied by some service, whether it's your dishwasher, someone's taking a shower bath or using the toilet in another part of the house. If you live in a condominium or an apartment complex, you'll hear that all the time because people are always using Great. water in other parts of the but building. But it could, could it ever be a busted pipe in the wall? It could, and the way to detect that would be if you see an area that's discolored uh-huh. or to the touch, the wall feels a little moist. Uh-huh. Um, you know, if you start to see that mold look, the dark color discoloration little or, black dots. or on the ceiling, if you're on a lower floor, you know, you'll sometimes see discoloration and rings that kind of become yellowed over time. Mm-hmm. That can also be water leaking. So that's really the, the only way short of seeing physical water start to show up in some part of the house it's not supposed to be in. Or dripping. Sometimes you'll look in fixtures in your house where the lighting is and you'll see moisture accumulate there. That means somehow in the space between your first and second floor there's some kind of a leak occurring. So those are some of the ways to detect. Well, what about if you hear some other kind of noises that might make you feel that the furnace is like it's whistling Dixie. We're going <laughs> to, we'll, we'll tell you what that and some more of these, you know, kind of bizarre noises and how to diagnose it uh, next here on Home Wizards. You're listening to Eric Stormer and House Cindy Dole. We love to improve your home and improve those noises. And you're- Our house, it has a crown. There's always something happening.